Hello again, everyone. Today, I will be explaining functions in MySQL. A function is a stored program that you can pass parameters into to return a value. If you look on MySQL's main website, there is a huge comprehensive list of functions. In this video, I'll only be showing you a few of the more useful ones for beginners. But just so you know, there's a lot of functions out there that do all sorts of things. What if I would like to count how many transactions took place on a certain date? To do that, we can use the count function. Select count parentheses. Within my set of parentheses, I can place a column, then calculate how many rows are within that column. Let's calculate amount. We will count how many rows are within the column amount. Then we will need a table from our table transactions. So you could add a where clause too, like where transaction date is on a certain date, but I want to keep this video as simple as possible. This function will return all of the rows within this column amount, which is five. We have five transactions within this table. Now this column header is kind of ugly. The column name is count the amount column. You could give a column an alias by adding as, then some nickname. Let's say count. It's not necessary, but if you want to make the column header look pretty or rename it as something, you could do that. Count five. We could even rename this column as today's transactions. That works too. Do whatever you want to do. Let's find the maximum value of our column amount by using the max function. Within the set of parentheses, pass in your amount column. I will give this column an alias of maximum. And that is the maximum amount. The largest order was $4.99. There's also min to find the minimum. As minimum, the smallest order was for $1. You could do average, which is AVG. As average, the average order is $3.45. We can find the sum of a column by using the sum function. As sum. The sum of all of our transactions was $17.25. For this next example, we're going to concatenate the first and last name of our employees. Select all from employees. We have two columns, one for a first name, the other for a last name. We're going to combine these two columns together with the concat function, then create a new column named full name. Here's how to do that. Select concat, first name, last name. Then I'll add an alias as full name. Here's what we have so far. So we are concatenating the first and last names of our employees. Uh, however, we should separate each name with a space. Within our concat function, I'll add a space character surrounded with commas to separate each argument. There, that's much better. So that is the concat function. We can concatenate values together, such as if you need a column for somebody's full name. But yeah, those are just a few functions. There's still many more we haven't covered, but these are a few of the beginner ones you may be interested in. But yeah, those are functions in MySQL.